welcome to one of our final days aboard our Alaskan cruise. Today we are visiting Ketchikan and with the way Norwegian operates we obviously dock at Ward Cove and not Ketchikan proper. And so what they have you do when you are disembarking the cruise ship is they route you through the Ward Cove terminal to find your short excursion and or just catch the bus down to the town of Ketchikan. And essentially they're just taking you through thousands of different items that you can buy, a lot of which seemed like they were overpriced compared to what some of the shops in town were offering. However, there were other items that were, I would say, quite a bit discounted. It really just depended, but overall, we didn't really spend much time here other than waiting for our excursion to happen. Originally, we had booked a zodiac tour exploring around ward cove to go see all the bald eagles and just other wildlife in the area and hopefully do a small little hike to a waterfall unfortunately that had fallen through and so we ended up just doing a booze and cruise where you got to try i think three local alaskan beers all of which were dark and thin instead of just waiting in line to use the Buses to get down to town, you got to enjoy the scenery as the boat took you down to the town of Ketchikan over to one of the docks right next to some of the famous eateries and whatnot, such as like the Alaskan Fish House. Heard quite a lot about this one. Unfortunately, when we arrived though, it was still closed, and when it did in fact open, the line was out the door for like a good two hours just waiting to try like some salmon or crab chowder and whatnot, which we just did not have the patience to wait for. So instead we walked on down to Creek Street. And let's just be honest, the entire town of Ketchikan just seemed very touristy. There's not much else to it. I think if I was to do this again, I would probably try to find some of the more hiking-based or nature-based excursions. We were also gonna try and do one of the canoe or kayak excursions those all booked up pretty quickly and plus we were traveling with our in-laws which is not exactly up their alley per se but all in all you can't complain it was a beautiful day and we did get to eat some good food while we were there but it wasn't really worth hanging around too long for i do know that a lot of people attend the lumberjack shows and from those that went especially those that we ever heard that had kids said that everybody enjoyed it but it's just not something that we tend to like. Things are just super targeted towards tourists and whatnot. Here are a few clips from our time spent just wandering around Ketchikan. Obviously lots of tour shops, but I will say some of these cute little baby books were absolutely adorable. One of my good friends is pregnant with her first baby and it was so tempting to buy a whole handful of these for her to take back. But that's pretty much it. I mean, you can look around all you'd like. There's lots of tour shops. There are some handmade things here and there. And I think there is a place that sells handmade totem poles. I'm not sure if they are made in the traditional way or not but it's just something to explore and check out while you're there. This is really not what I thought this was going to be like when... Oh really? Well, it's just so good. <laughs> <laughs> So usually in the summer you can see the salmon really coming upstream, supposedly. So it might be helpful to know what you're actually looking at aside from it just being a tourist attraction. 
Creek Street is a historic boardwalk that is now perched upon pilings over the banks of Ketchikan Creek in obviously Ketchikan, Alaska. And the reason why it was built over the water is because it was too difficult to blast away the rocky hills that surround the creek. So if you're actually entering Creek Street from where the sign is, if you look up, there is a cable car that will take you up the hill a little bit. Another pretty commonly known fact is that Creek Street is actually a former red light district where supposedly both men and salmon would swim upstream to spawn if you got what I mean. Thank you.